Yo guys, and thanks for tuning in. Now despite the fact that the game has been out now for around 6 months or so in one form or another including beta, I've had some requests from people to go over kind of like some CSGO basics. Um, but not only that, there are some people who still don't really understand how certain things work in CSGO. And as such I've decided to go over a few of them in a, in a short video series. Now I'm sure there are plenty of other videos going through this, but I decided to do one myself. Uh, the first episode is something I think most, it's one of the most important things for you uh, and also your enemies to all have a smooth and enjoyable gameplay experience, and that is rates. Okay, now there are five main things you need to ensure uh, are to their optim optimal setting, uh, and I'll go into each one of those, but the five things are your rate, your update rate, your CMD rate, your interp, and your interp ratio. So some of this, this might be a little bit boring, but it's just going to go through the basics so you can set it up so you will have the best possible experience when you play CSGO. Now, let's start with your rate. Your rate is the maximum download bandwidth in bytes per second, and this value kind of, uh, it defaults to 80,000. There's no real need to change it. Uh, quite frankly, if you were lowering this value, it's probably for bad reasons, and you probably know what you're doing, because in my experience, I know people on bad connections, like 0.5 mega second, and they have no reason to reduce this this value. Uh, what happens if you reduce it to a low value? It means that you're restricting the amount of data you can receive, meaning your position and enemy positions won't be updated as often as they would, or you'll miss crucial information coming from the server. Uh, some players like to play with lower rates to gain an advantage, uh, but they're easy to spot because you can type status in the console, and it shows the player's rates next to their name. I personally set this value to 128,000, which is the maximum value because I have a good connection. Uh, this means I can give the optimal amount of bandwidth to give the best chance of uh, good bullet registration. Okay, so let's move on to the update rate. So where rate is the maximum bandwidth allocated, we now move on to more specific allowances. Update rate is the maximum number of update packets per second you receive from the server. Now it defaults to 64, but the best value and the maximum one is 128, meaning you get the most updates possible from the server. Now it can be set server side by admin, so they can restrict the amount, like the maximum value and the minimum value. So if you join a server and yours is set to 128, but the server is only allowing it to be at 70, then the server will force your value to 70, but most servers are not going to do that. Now, without complicating things, certain servers are only capable of doing certain amounts of updates to players. And this is determined by a value called tick rate, and it's a server side value. You don't really need to know much about it, but all you need to know is that the most common server tick rates are 64 and 128. That means if you play on a server that is a 64 tick rate, the maximum amount of updates you can have as a client is 64. And if you play on a 128 tick server, the maximum amount of updates you can have is 128 which stands to reason. Uh, ideally, you want to be playing on a 128 uh, tick server, and that's what most of the servers you play on will be, uh, and that means you can have your update rate at the highest possible. Now, it's important that at all times you try and have your update rate at the same as the server's tick rate. Uh, if you don't have it set to 128 and the server is 128 tick, you might be losing you know, critical updates, uh, which can be the difference in certain circumstances for you. It's also worth noting that if you have played at any point on the Valve matchmaking servers, they are only 64 tick, which means you're only getting 64 updates instead of 128. And for the most part, they're terrible servers, which is probably why your shots don't feel like they're hitting most of the time uh, on those servers. So let's move uh, on to the update rate's partner in crime, the CMD rate. This determines how many command packets are sent to the server each second. Once again, you want this at its maximum value for the best possible registration, but unlike update rate, you never want to set this rate higher than your FPS. Okay, So for instance, I set my CMD rate 128, uh, that's the maximum I can set it to, um, but I always get over 128 FPS. Okay, If my FPS maxed out at 100, then I would set my CMD rate to 100. If you think of it logically, you can't send more updates per second to the server than the frames that you are actually rendering on your own computer per second. So if I'm only rendering 100 frames per second, I can't send 128 pieces of information per second because I've only, I've only made 100 pieces of information. Okay. 
So moving on to something that won't really need to be changed from player to player, but pretty much everyone should be using um, the same value, and that is interp. The value needs to be set to zero, ideally. Then basically your interp value will then be calculated automatically based on your settings and connection. Now interp is basically Counter-Strike's way of lag compensation. It uses calculations to try and smooth out player positions and such, uh, which is why you want your interp to be calculated automatically. I won't go into the calculations and explanations and such, but basically you want it to be set to zero, and that gives you the best possible value. Interp ratio is also used in the calculation. As the calculation uses your interp value you have set uh, divided by your update rate. So you want this set to 1 rather than 2 to get the lowest possible interp that you can. Now I understand a lot of this is just a little bit babble, complicated, and it may not make sense to you, but you really don't need to understand it. As long as you have the best rate, it doesn't really matter too much how much understanding you have about them. So in recap, you ideally want your rate to be set to 128,000, your update rate to 128, as well as your CMD rate to the same value, your interp to 0, and interp ratio to 1. Now these may change slightly depending on your connection, so you may have to uh, fiddle with your rate, for instance, and lower it a little bit depending on your connection, but ideally you won't have to. I hope you found this useful. If so, like and subscribe, and as always, I'll catch you on the next one.